Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I hope uh, you are all still doing great. And if it's hard, uh, hang in there. Hang in there. The journey is not easy, but then it will be worth it in the end. That's what I can tell you, and that's what I can promise you. Just uh, hang in there and keep pushing. So uh, we hope you are getting something from these lessons. We hope it's something powerful. We also hope that you are getting something from our Telegram channel, the PDFs, uh, the audios, the videos, each and every content we give to you guys. We hope you are getting something from it, even if it's not from us, uh, wherever you are investing your time in, we hope uh, you get something valuable from it. Get, we hope you get your time's worth because uh, time is something you can never take back, so it's, it's really valuable. Okay, with that being said, uh, let's get into today's lesson. Uh, today's lesson will be on the visuals. We will be dealing with the visuals. Because uh, in the past videos or the past days, we talked about uh, price. Everything was around price, if you've noticed. We talked about the price of the currency pay how price is, is uh, quoted, uh, the bid and the ask price, the spreads, and all those things, you know. So right now we'll be dealing with visuals because I'm sure some of you might have asked yourself, uh, they are teaching us about price, but then when we log on to our platforms, our trading platforms, we see uh, these uh, kind of things. Uh, excuse my brother, these kind of things, we don't know what's happening. So yes, that's what we will be dealing with today. That's what we will be dealing with today. These things are called candles or candlesticks. They are the visual representation of price. They are the visual representation of price. Okay. These are just a few, a few drawings of the candles. There are different types and you'll understand how they come about. Okay, this is bad. My drawing is bad. So yes, these are candles or candlesticks, but then we'll call them candles. <coughs> we have uh, different types of uh, visualization of price on the market. We have a, a line chart. We have a bar chart or bar graph. Okay, graph or chart. We also have candles or candlesticks. But then our main focus will be on candles. We'll be dealing specifically with candles. So uh, before we get on the visuals, okay, we're already on the visuals. Before we get into these candles specifically, we have to know something. that, And that something is that the Forex market runs five days a week, 24 hours each day for five days. And that's uh, from Monday to Friday or from Sunday, depending on your time, time zone, if I can say. So it's five days, and uh, what runs on the weekend is uh, cryptocurrency and others. But then Forex, it's strictly five days. It opens Monday, closes Friday. So uh, from those five days, it's 24 hours each day, like uh, the whole length of the day. It's not from 9 to 5, 9 to 7, whatever time. It's 24 hours. So it keeps on running. Just that uh, for the start of each day, there will be what we call a day break. Like some sort of a reset, if we could call it. That's where you'll experience gaps. Then you also see that the spreads are also increased. You'll see gaps in prices and you'll see that the spread is increased because it's signaling the start of a new day. They are ushering in a new day so uh, the spreads are also increased uh, because uh, things like swaps, uh, rollovers, uh, many things, you'll get to know them as you progress. As you progress. But then right now let's uh, deal with what's important. So from Monday to Friday, you will find 24 hours in, in a day. Then you will find that uh, in hours we find minutes. Then in minutes we find seconds. But then we won't de be dealing with uh, we won't be dealing with seconds. 
will be dealing with minutes, hours, where then we go to a day, then week, then month. So that means we'll have what we call time frames. We'll have what we call time frames. We'll have what we call time frames. So we'll be dealing with uh, five time frames. Let me just say uh, TFs. Time frames. So <clears throat> we'll be dealing with five of them. Be dealing with uh, the five types of time frames, which will be the minute, the hourly, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. There's also yearly. It's rare, but then there's also. But then we'll be focusing on these ones. Because that's what you, you, you will usually see uh, when you log into your trading platform, either yeah, demo or real. <clears throat> so, what uh, these time frames mean, uh, they simply visualize price. Because we were talking about price, we were calculating price, but then there has to be somewhere where you see movement. Because you cannot always talk about something, you have to see it so that you understand its pattern. Pattern. Remember that when uh, you want a strategy, you have to sometimes find patterns. So that's what uh, that's why some of you, those who have been trading, you will hear what we call price patterns. So you have to see this pattern. So the seeing part, that's where uh, the tire, the candles come in. And then these candles, they have time frames. We just do this. We have candles. Then we have time frames. So, for a specific time frame, follow me, follow me, follow me. For a specific uh, time frame, we'll have a specific price movement. That will lead to a candle. You know? Because remember, we say price runs for five days a week. Five trading days a week. So, price will keep on moving during those days. But then, in order uh, to be able to quantify, if we can say quantify that price, it, there has to be, uh, what can I say? It has to be calibrated, if that's the word. It has to be shown. It has to be organized so that we can be able to break down its movement so that uh, we can be able to analyze its movement so uh, that's where candlesticks come in you know we will have a uh, price for one minute you know the movement of price for one minute you know, that we start with the time frames and I'll only be focusing on those which are generally found the time frames because we have different time frames for different brokers but then what you should just understand is that they simply uh, show the movement of price in a specific time interval. So we will have the one minute time frame. It shows price, shows movement of price for one minute. This shows a movement of price for one minute. Like if price goes up, down, and wherever, for one minute, that's where you will find it in the one minute time frame. Then we also have the five minute. Similar to the one minute time frame, it shows it will show the movement of price for five minutes. Then we have the fifteen minute. time frame which will show price movement uh, for 15 minutes we also have the 30 minute time frame which shows uh, price movement for 30 minutes 
So how does it show this price movement for, for one minute, five minutes? It shows it in the form of a candle. That's why you'll have a one minute candle, you'll have a five minute candle, you'll have a 15 minute candle, you'll have a 30 minute candle. For a one minute candle, it means that uh, the candle will be formed every one minute and it will show that, but remember, it's, it's visuals, it's visuals, visuals. So that means uh, that candle will show the price movement for one minute. Then for a five minute candle, it shows that uh, for every five minutes, a candle will be formed. Remember, it's time intervals. A candle will be formed and that candle will be showing you the movement of price for five minutes. If it's 15 minutes, the same, the same applies, the same rules apply. The candle will show you the price movement for those 15 minutes. That means every 15 minutes, a candle will be formed. Then for 30 minutes, uh, the same. For one hour, for four hours, for uh, daily, for uh, weekly, for uh, monthly. I hope I'm making sense. So the time frames are, we have we have one minute, uh, we have five minutes, remember they are visualization, we have 15 minutes, we have uh, 30 minutes, these are minutes, uh, then uh, we go on to have uh, one hour. Uh, four hour, uh, one day or daily, uh, one week or weekly, then one month or monthly. So these are the time frames. So whenever you switch to the time frame, it means it will show you the price movement for that particular time frame. That means that the candle, the candle will show you the price movement for that particular time frame. So if you're switching to a one minute time frame, it means you'll see a, a one minute candle for me. You know, like every minute a candle is for me. But then if you switch to a five minute uh, time frame, you will see that a candle forms every five minutes. You go to 15, you will see that a candle forms every 15 minutes. Before I go to the constituents of a candle, uh, you have to notice something. Because these are, they are interconnected. There's the relations to these time frames. Because for a one minute, doesn't mean that uh, since uh, the price is on a one minute, it won't be there on a five minute. No. What you'll find is that for a five minute candle, for a five minute candle, you'll find out that they've taken the overall minute of no the overall movement of five one minute candles. Remember, uh, five minutes are composed of uh, one minute times five. It's five one minutes, so they. Uh, equate to five minutes so what happens what happens on the one minute time frame will also be seen on the five depending on which time frame you're viewing it's just that on the five uh, the candle won't form every one minute no but then you will see the price action of one minute uh, happening on the five minute candle i hope uh, i hope i'm making sense let me just uh let me just go in deeper so that uh, we, we, we are on the same page. You know, let's start this out with basic maths. In a five minute uh, time frame, you're going to find five one minutes. I hope I'm making sense. You'll find uh, that uh, there are five one minutes in an overall of five minutes. One minute plus one minute plus one minute. Five one minutes will make an overall of uh, five minutes. So this is what you see when you open a five minute chart. You'll see the overall uh, price movement of five 
one minute candles. I hope this makes sense. The same goes to let's say a fifteen minute. A fifteen minute will be composed of uh, the price movement of fifteen one minute candles. Fifteen one minute candles and also three five minute candles. You must be following right now. Because remember you find uh, uh, you find three five minute uh, candles in one fifteen minute candle. Because three times five is fifty. Then one times five is fifteen and that one is for one minute. Three times five is fifteen and that five is for five minutes. Then you will find the overall price movement of five minute okay. Okay, sorry, let me go back. You will find the overall price movement of three candles which are five minutes each. You'll find them in a fifteen minute time frame. Okay. I can feel that I'm losing you because I'm also losing myself at this point. Let's uh let's break this down. Let's break this down. Because uh, we have people having problems here. We ask uh, what uh, time frame is the signal on the time frames are the same. Price is price. If you find that price is uh, at, uh, but then you can use the time frames for analysis, your entries and exits. But then with regard to price, if I if you have a, a price is at one point four five six zero, it will be on that price for each and every time frame from one minute to uh, the one month time frame. You will see this if you switch on the. Uh, if you switch the time frames, the price will still be this. Just that the difference will be the number of candles. Because remember, the candles are formed in intervals. For a one minute time frame, you will have a candle forming every one minute. For five minutes, the candle will be forming every five minutes. Uh, for 15, just like that up until one month. That means the one month candle will have fewer candles as compared to the one minute. Because a monthly candle forms one candle every month whereas a minutely candle forms one candle every minute so they won't be the same daily candle forms one candle every day it forms one candle but then the price movement is still the same what happens on the one minute uh, will also happen uh, on the five on the 15 the 30 the one hour the uh, four hour, the daily, the weekly, the monthly. Price movement will appear across all time frames. Just that there will be what we call lower noise or drowning out of the volume when the time frames increases. Because remember, if you have a chart, uh, a one minute chart and uh, a daily chart, just picture the two. A one minute chart will have candles forming every minute. So it will have many candles, whereas a daily chart will have candles uh, forming every day. So you see, uh, if it's for, as, uh, let's say, uh, we take uh, a, the period of a week, you know, a trading week. If you go to the daily time frame, remember it's five days, you will see five candles for that particular period of a week a trading week you only see five remember it's five days as i was saying but then uh, for those uh, for that period of five days if you'd count the minutes remember we started off with days it's five days so that means for daily you'll have five candles you have five candles for the daily time frame but then if we go to the minute, the one minute, just calculate how many minutes are in a day, then multiply that by five. So you see how, how many candles you'll have in your chart. 
there there will be a lot more than a hundred candles will be uh, evident for that period of five trading days but then on a daily it will just have only five candles so you can see that uh, the noise has been drowned out or the volume has been drowned out so uh, a five a daily a daily time frame is a uh, yeah, we can say more clearer, although it takes time to form. Remember, a minutely time frame uh, will consist of candles being formed every minute. So every minute, just uh, for the past minutes I've been talking, that means uh, a, a, a candle was formed for the past uh, minute. There were, there, were, there were candles forming. But then for a daily, since this day is not over yet, there's still a candle which is to be formed. It hasn't been formed yet. It's not complete. It has started, but it isn't complete. So which brings us to uh, the next, uh, I could say, chapter. Which brings us to, okay, topic whereby we will talk about candle formations. What forms a candle? What forms a candle? I think it should be in a in a in a different lesson because uh, it's, there's no point in rushing to cram all this information in your head whereas you won't be able to understand it or apply it or practice it. So uh, the next lesson will be, will be specifically on candle formations. It will be on candle formations. So uh, for today, let's let's just stop here. Practice this. Uh, use whatever material which will lead you to understanding this, so that you, you can you can get uh, these things. Because if you miss such things, then we will be lost. We will be lost. Revise, revise, and uh, put. Uh, you have to work hard and smart. Don't just work hard only because you work without direction, but then you have to work smart too. Have a direction, have focus, like I said in the beginning. Understand these things, then uh, it shouldn't be that hard going forth.